to Pride Comedy Jam. I am so excited about our next performer. She is a little Latina and a lot of loud. Please welcome extremely hot Renee Santos. I knew I was gay because I, uh, when Dirty Dancing came out, I was obsessed with Jennifer Grey and I put her up on my walls and all my sisters put Patrick Swayze up on their walls. So it was pretty telling. Hello, everybody. How are you? You guys look amazing. Amazing. I must say, I love being gay. Welcome to the gayberhood. It's fantastic. Are there any straight women in the crowd? Straight women? It's okay, girls. Put your hands up. I ain't gonna haggle you too. It's all right. It's all right. It's hilarious, you know, because you guys gotta do me a favor and stop apologizing to me for being straight. It's okay, like if you say, are you a lesbian, Renee? I'm like, yeah, I'm a lesbian, are you a lesbian? I get, no, I'm not, I'm sorry, but I totally think it's a wonderful thing and I totally think that you should be able to get married. It's like, relax, it's okay to be who you are, you're just deprived. <laughs> I, I just, I'm not intolerant to a lot in life, I just don't get homophobic. Like when they say that it's not normal for gay people to be raising children because we're gonna make our kids gay. I'm like, last time I checked, most of us gay people come from you straight folks. <laughs> you know what was really unnatural? My upbringing. My mother's Cuban and uh, my dad is Portuguese and uh, they met in high school in an English as a second language class. So it sucks because me and my sisters, we only speak English because my parents' common language was hate and homophobia. Yeah, true story, especially my mom. She's always addressing my sexuality at weird holiday events. Like every year, it's like a moment. Like last year at Christmas, I went up to my sister and I just like hugged her because she was saying something funny. And my mom stands up and like slams down her plate and is like, Renee, don't pull that lesbian shit with your sister. It's not natural to suck tit. I was like, it's not natural to suck tit. Actually, that's probably the most natural thing to do in the entire world. I'm pretty sure everyone in this room at some point in their life has sucked tit. Am I right? <laughs> so out of respect for my dynamic with my mother, I responded by saying, so the mouth, the orifice that's designated for ingesting food is supposed to have a penis in it from time to time. That's more natural, because last time I checked, that don't make babies. I'm just saying, right? My goodness. My mom also didn't come to my college graduation because she didn't want to celebrate my lesbianism. Which was funny, because I actually didn't get a degree in lesbianism. I didn't, yeah. I got a degree in acting. Well, actually, now I think about that's close enough to a degree in lesbianism, so I'll give that one to my mom. My dad is, my dad's not quite as insane as my mother, but he, he's still a little bit insane, you know? Like he called me and told me that he wanted, he wanted me to give something up for Lent, you know? And he just said, I, I, I respect you, but it just, just try it and see if you can give up your homosexuality for just Lent. Can you do that? Just give it up for Lent. I'm like, dad, you know what you should give up for Lent? Hope. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm Renee Santos. That is my time. Thank you so much for coming out. You guys are wonderful. I got a speeding ticket. Yeah, that fucking sucked. And I totally tried to pull the birthday card on them, you know, on the cop. I was like, here's the thing. <laughs> this cop kind of looked like Cartman from South Park. <laughs> So like, I was having a really hard time like concentrating and like trying to be serious. I'm like, don't laugh, right? Don't laugh. Don't laugh, don't laugh. He's gonna give you a ticket. It's your birthday. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I could just imagine him like giving me the ticket in the Cartman voice, you know what I mean? Can you imagine? He's like, um, man, do you know why I pulled you over? <laughs> you was going 85 miles an hour and 65 miles an hour. That was well over the allotted speed limit. Clearly, you do not respect the law's authority. I was like, no, it's not Carmen, it's not Carmen. Oh. 
So, uh, but instead he like he was worse than Cartman. He came up to me with that whole like menacing slow walk to the side of the car. I'm like, calm it down, fucking Napoleon. It's fine. He does the whole like clears his throat for 20 minutes, and by the time he opened his mouth, like it didn't even make any fucking sense. He was like, <clears throat> <clears throat> so, uh, what's your story? I'm like, well, I wanted to be a ballerina when I was six. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> When I was a little girl, I always wanted to get like Cabbage Patch Kid, but my mom couldn't afford them. So she bought, she would put them on the layway. So for like a year, I just had visitation rights to my Cabbage Patch Kid. It's ridiculous. She tried, she tried. But there's this presidential candidate, rhymes with Schmidt Pomney. <laughs> No idea. And some of the shit that he says, it's so ignorant that it could potentially benefit us gays. Like, he said, you know, I'm not trying to discriminate against our gay brothers and sisters. I believe that gay people have a handicap. <laughs> I was like, well, that shit all the time. <laughs> I want my blue little placard with two women fucking on it so I can park up front and I can park to wait in line at Disneyland anymore. I can pass all you straight people with kids. I'm sorry, little girl. I know that you've been waiting in line for like three hours, but I like pussy, so I get to go first. <laughs> <laughs> the law. Small world after all. And that, and that.